Yeah, this is a spot where I think Nintendo is missing out. I know I've said that Nintendo needs to keep some things exclusive, but um, I think the Vita saw a big boost f- via cross-buy, cross-play, where if you buy it for the PS3, mm-hmm. you also get it for the Vita. And I think that there's a lot of things. I, I, I still don't understand why Nintendo segregates their, their virtual consoles. Why can you get Earthbound for the Wii U, but you can't get it for the, the 3DS? doesn't make any sense. Not from a technical standpoint, anyways. I mean, it should be doable. Is there a lot of games that you can't get on one or the other? Tons. You can't get your Super Nintendo. There get, must be different servers, then. There is no Super Nintendo. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that maybe when they migrate and make the IDs universal, we might see some of that stuff. What, when's the target for that, for the universal IDs? it's supposed to be, like, in the new year. I think it's supposed to be... How are they going to link them? How are they going to ask you, like, I guess your password for one or the other? Yeah. They're I, not even I, passwords. I, no, there is. I'm sure they'll figure it out. You know, you'll so probably have to actually wirelessly link it up oh, with link 3DS, it. you know, with your system. The whole idea thing is stupid anyway. It should just be your email and, and password. You know, just a well, login. Every system has an ID. With Nintendo, it's a number. You that's, still, that's only, you still only put it in once. I, I know, it's dumb. Anyways, I think it's ridiculous. For instance, they had a sale recently where Mega Man X was on sale for 2 bucks, But only for the Wii U, if you have a 3DS, you can get Mega Man Game Boy for $2. And it's like, the 3DS is totally capable of handling a fucking Super Nintendo game. It's pr- That, to me, is just... It sounds like it's such a low priority for them, which is a shame. It just sounds like it's just mismanagement. Which right. could be a, which could be a cause for a lot of the Wii U troubles, is mismanagement and just... To bring it back yeah. around, all I'm saying is something like NES Remix bu- should should totally be able to be run on a 3DS. And sure. you should totally be able to do a cross-by, cross-play sort of deal where if I buy it for the 3DS and I get a Wii U, I can then download it for my oh, Wii that'd be, U. Oh, that would sell... I think that would sell a lot more. Well, people that's what Sony's doing, and granted, the Vita's not doing well, and I like the 3DS more. That's that's a, that's something that I really feel like Nintendo should probably try to adopt when they unify their their um, their um accounts. So, I mean, it, it, at least it's good news that it's something that people, I guess... More, more so than not, are, are reacting, reacting positively to this. And N- Nintendo needs a win at this point. They need, a, they need a series of wins. Well, for they, the Wii U, they've got plenty general, for the 3DS. But I mean, yeah, okay, we'll, 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 we'll phrase it that way. For the Wii U, then, uh, this it started with the new, the new uh, Super Mario, uh, 3D game, which is Super, Super Mario 3D wo- World, yeah, which has gotten rave reviews, saying it's like it's like the best Mario game in you know since at least Galaxy Two, you know. So, uh, since Galaxy 2? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> there's, been, okay. there's, there's, a, there's a Mario game every year it comes out. But the point is it's gotten rave reviews. It has. You deny that? Yes. No, I'm not denying that. I'm saying that Galaxy 2 is the last one that was not in the new Super Mario Brothers series. All the Mario games get wait, rave reviews. And they probably deserve them. But I'm this one saying. is saying this one is actually like a, almost like a must-have. Versus they say yeah. that every time. Okay. Shut up. The whole, <laughs> the whole point is that it's a win for, for the Wii U. <laughs> um, and then... We've, we're still not. Uh, Smash Brothers is is, is going to be next year. Um, Mario Kart Eight. Those are going to sell a lot of consoles, but at least Smash is one of those games where since it's it's big in like the tournament scene, you know, people might buy the Wii U finally just to play that. I think there'll be some people that will do that. It has enough of the following. Mario Kart almost. Mario Kart is more like those fringe games where it's like. It, it, the, the, the the sort of like in terms of franchises, Mario Kart's in the top five for Nintendo. You know, it's like that could sell systems. So I don't the the Wii U is is still obviously it's not it's still shaky ground, but at least there's there's some sort of at least hope for it where next year a full year year and a half in they're gonna have the the franchise games that people want are gonna be bam 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 come out and then then we'll see where it's at if it's gonna recover at that point. Recover is what I hope it does. I would I still I said it last podcast. I would like to see a Nintendo home console because I love their portables and I like the company. I would like to see a Nintendo do home console do more than recover. I mean, yes, they get their first party games out. That's going to sell the systems, but I wish they could gather some sort of third party support. I mean, actually make it a real competitor. Sure. As long as it does fine, I'm, I'm happy, but I I, I, I I don't know. I'm not just happy enough with Nintendo doing okay on the console front. I'd like to see it do well. Oh, of course. And I think we're far, far from that still. I think we're far, far from that? Yes. Far, 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 far from that. Far? Oh, long, long place to run. Far away. Um, yeah, so there was, there was a few articles about it, it was marking how there has been an increase in Wii U sales from November versus October. In, in the summer, it was abysmal. It was like 50,000 in August or something like that. Like a very low number. I think they, you console. can attribute most of those to 
Super Mario 3D World. You think so just for the past month or two? Well, or? that I mean, it, it also came out, was, okay, so Christmas as well. You know, people who wanted one maybe wouldn't buy one. Here's the interesting thing. But the are, Wii people, U... are people starting to buy them in November? Or, or, I mean, or yeah, I guess they yeah, are. Yeah, a lot of people or, are buying November. in oh, late October, early November. I see okay. a lot of Christmas coming. No, 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 wait, not waiting for the sales for Black Friday. No, and I think, and this is just me speculating, but the Wii U is interesting in that I know a lot of people who want one. But a lot of people who don't want to go out and spend the money on one immediately because they're not feeling certain about it. But there are games they'd want to play, which actually would make the Wii U a pretty decent Christmas gift. Because if someone else is going to get it for you, you're not spending your money on it. You still get something that you want. You're not buying it. And you still have games to play that you want. There's a reason why these people want it. So I think mm-hmm. I think Nintendo is benefiting from the holiday season perhaps more so than another console would. You think so? Yeah, I do. Huh. I haven't really seen. I've seen the one commercial where it's advertising uh, the new Mario game with like the kids. It always bothered me. That, I mean, it's directed towards kids. They're like literally like eight, nine years old, and talking about this is the system to get for you know the new Mario game. And it's like, meanwhile, everyone out running out to buy a system to play this game is thirty years old and has bad shaving habits, namely me. <laughs> but the point is, is that their marketing's been shit, absolute shit. Yeah. It's been terrible. The commercial to me didn't sell it. If, I'm, if I was 10 years old, I'm like, oh yeah, it's a Mario game. But like, you show more than one game on your commercial. You don't just show... As bad as the PS4 and Xbox One commercials are, especially the PS4 one, the two guys are like, like, like oh, I want to spend time with you. And they're like killing each other. That's a terrible commercial. But the PS4 has an install fan base that they're going to buy it no matter what. The Wii U is trying to sell it. Especially to that Wii uh, uh, you know, base that they haven't gotten near yet. Like... So it's, it's not a commercial to sell. They, they got to fire everyone in their marketing team yesterday. And next year, they, like, I said this fast, they have to basically come at it in a different direction. Well, yeah, that's the problem. They, they, need, to stop, they need to stop chasing the Wii base because they're never going to get it again. That was, that was a, a one-shot deal. They need to start going back towards uh, gamers again. And, you know, you can make the... You can talk about core and casual and all that nonsense. It's not about that. You just need to appeal to the people who play video games and buy systems. Sure. Grandmothers aren't buying this system. They're not, sure. they're, they're not they, going to again. They struck uh, black gold with the Wii, which no one saw it destroyed. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of Wiis drilling for oil out in yeah, the exactly. fields. So the whole point is no one saw it being so successful that it destroyed the PS3 and 360 in sales. Like, no one saw that coming. They'd be like, right. oh. Well, especially after the GameCube, which was a failure compared to the PS2 and Xbox. Um, so, so instead of them saying, oh, let's build on this, but, you know... They just said we're gonna mine for that same black oil again, and it's not there. It's gone. We gotta we gotta move some other alternative energy source. You know, yeah. I'm st- just gonna stop with the analogy with energy. But <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, I, like I said, no, we can keep going. It, it, I, it, it I, dries I, up. It yeah, dries up. It dries the soccer up. moms and the grandmas they, they dry yeah. up. And plus, whereas whereas gamers are renewable energy. Sources. Exactly. <laughs> so they buy again exactly. over and over again. We're not, we're not just bio <laughs> source of fuel. <laughs> exactly, but the point is, is that it, it, maybe if they had changed the name, the I, soccer moms and grandmas would realize it was something different. But they were just stupid to keep it that. Well, I, like I said, I don't think it would have mattered anyway. I think I, it would a little bit at least. Well, no, I don't think it would have mattered to the to the to the Wii group, the the group that would not have normally bought a console but bought the Wii. Changing the name wouldn't have mattered for them. It would have had a. We've already discussed it. We don't need to make this long. It would have, I think, made a big impact with people who play systems because I still, and I say this almost every podcast, I feel like when we talk about the Wii U, I still have people who come into the store and think that the Wii U is an add-on for the Wii. They just think it's a new controller. Which just blows my mind. Blows my mind, but whatever. It's their fault. I I always said, even if they just next year, start next year, they changed all the boxes of the systems being shipped out, that would boost sales by... Even five percent, you know, like two percent, you know, and people are like, oh, it's a new Nintendo system. I had no idea. Yeah, we did talk about this because uh, Nintendo Astro Kid. Yeah, I mean, we've, Nintendo Astro Kid. We've made this. We've made this that would be before. better than Wii U. Nintendo Astro Kid. Yes, <laughs> I, would, I would buy it. 